I shall do my best to be a worthy successor, Your Majesty. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Disney movie monologues. They will weep for his cares. They will wring their hands when he loses his job. And when he flies that kite. Oh, Mrs. Travis, they will rejoice. For this list, we'll be looking at the best speeches delivered by characters in Disney movies, including live action and Pixar. We'll also be discussing some key plot details, so a spoiler warning is in place. What's your favorite Disney monologue? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. An Awkward Situation – Maleficent Maleficent twists the story of Sleeping Beauty to tell things from the antagonist's perspective. Well, well. <laughs> What a glittering assemblage, King Stefan. Angelina Jolie was perfectly cast as the mistress of all evil, looking the part and making audiences empathize with one of Disney's most ruthless villains. Oh dear. What an awkward situation. In this scene, an uninvited Maleficent arrives at the christening of Princess Aurora, newborn daughter of King Stefan, her former love who betrayed her. Maleficent, her horns, and her impossibly sharp cheekbones are the center of attention as she approaches the throne. Her demeanor is cheery, but the tension is unmistakable. I must say, I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. And the king will soon regret ever crossing her. Maleficent got us to root for the villain, or at least to see that good and evil aren't always cut and dry. All right. Number 9. Rapunzel Saves Eugene – Tangled In this scene, from Disney's lively and moving take on the Rapunzel story, the long-haired princess pleads with her captor Mother Gothel to let her save the dying Eugene. I will never stop trying to get away from you! But if you let me save him, I will go with you. Throughout the film, Rapunzel displays tremendous bravery. But her willingness to give up everything to save the one she loves is the bravest act of all. Just let me heal him, and you and I will be together. Forever, just like you want. Everything will be the way it was. I promise. Just like you want. Eugene also knows the meaning of sacrifice, allowing himself to die so that Rapunzel can avoid further torment. Of course, this being a Disney fairy tale, everything ends happily ever after. But this speech still shows how much these characters care for each other. Rapunzel? <gasps> Eugene. Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? <laughs> Number 8. Mia's Speech – The Princess Diaries There were plenty of Disney princesses before the release of this movie, but few are quite as relatable as Mia Thermopolis, the awkward teen who learns she's royalty. Me? A, a princess? Shut up! It's not a completely smooth transition from clumsy to regal, but in the end, Mia's confidence has reached new heights. At the Genovian Independence Day Ball, a rain-soaked Mia, wearing clothes not exactly fit for a princess, takes the stage and nervously begins speaking. I'm really no good at speech making. Uh, normally, I get so nervous that I, I, I faint or run away, or um, sometimes I even get sick. She brings up her initial plans to abdicate the throne, but she's realized what a difference she can make for the world through her new royal status. If I cared about the other seven billion out there instead of just me, that's probably a much better use of my time. Number 7. Ralph's Introduction – Wreck-It Ralph before Wreck-It Ralph, we weren't really thinking about the feelings of villains in arcade games. 30 years I've been doing this, and I've seen a lot of other games come and go. Kind of sad. I think about all those guys from Asteroids, boom, gone. But this monologue changed our perspective a bit. Ralph, the burly antagonist of Fix-It Felix Jr., tells his support group that he's a bad guy. If you are a bad guy, but this does not mean you're a bad guy. But it's not that Ralph means any harm or that he doesn't have a heart. He addresses his insecurity of how he's perceived compared to the game's hero, wishing that he could be the hero for once. 
People are giving him pie and thanking him and so happy to see him all the time. Sometimes I think, man, sure must be nice being the good guy. Delivered with pure vulnerability by John C. Riley, Ralph's speech should resonate with anyone who's ever felt misunderstood. And he's soon able to prove that a hero can come from anywhere. Thank you, Jeeves. Number six, Dory's plea, Finding Nemo. One of the best things a monologue can do is show how much a character has evolved over the course of a story. When we first meet Dory, it's clear that she's very forgetful. Maybe a different dialect. Dory. Dory, this is not whale. You're speaking like upset stomach. Maybe I should try humpback. No, don't try humpback. Whoa. But in this scene, when all hope seems lost, she's, well, still forgetful. But she's also gained new resolve and a sense of belonging through her journey with Marlin, with whom she's pleading not to leave. Please don't go away. Please. No one's ever stuck with me for so long before. Ellen DeGeneres' fantastic performance turned what might have been a mere comic relief sidekick into one of Disney's most well-rounded characters, fish or not. Dory might not remember things too easily, but we'll never forget this scene. I remember it, I do, it's there, I, I know it is, because when I look at you, I can feel it. And, and I, I look at you and I, I'm home. Number five, Moana of Motunui, Moana. When you have something important to say, you tend to rehearse it over and over again, trying to get it just right, even if perfection isn't possible. And that's precisely what Moana does when she sets out on her crucial island-saving adventure. I am Moana of Motunui. You will board my boat. Sail across the sea and restore the heart of Te Fiti. Bravely navigating the treacherous waters to confront the demigod Maui, Moana recites her speech to the point of literally being able to do it in her sleep. The practice pays off when Moana comes face to face with Maui and she lets her fury be known. You are not my hero and I'm not here so you can sign my oar. I'm here because you stole the heart of Te Fiti, and you will board my boat, sail across the sea, and put it back! Of course, the arrogant demigod isn't exactly in a place to admit fault. At least not at this point in the movie. You're welcome! Number four, Merida breaks tradition, brave. Shots it! Upholding tradition is largely considered a virtue. However, sometimes it's necessary to push back against tradition and listen to your heart, or in this case, a bear who happens to be your mother. When Scottish Princess Merida returns to the castle with her mother, war between the clans seems imminent. No more time, no more traditions. We settle this now. Merida, who's been trying to avoid her impending marriage to a suitor, is ready to announce her change of heart. But her mother convinces her to hold on to her initial conviction, and so she's able to convince the clans to change their archaic rules about marriage. I decided to do what's right and 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 break tradition Kelly McDonald's passionate delivery is empowering for the character the clans and countless viewers and it shows that being brave is about more than just wielding a weapon follow our hearts and find love in our own time. That's beautiful. Number three, biggest fan, The Incredibles. You sly dog, you got me monologuing. The Incredibles wasn't just another animated triumph for Disney and Pixar. It also showed they could tell a superhero story that rivals any live action one. And no superhero is complete without a great supervillain. Sure, it was difficult, but you are worth it. I mean, after all, I am your biggest fan. When Mr. Incredible is first overwhelmed by the diabolical Syndrome, he learns this isn't their first meeting. Syndrome is really Buddy Pine, once an idealistic youth who grew jaded after his hero gave him the cold shoulder. All I wanted was to help you. 
I only wanted to help. And what did you say to me? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. It tore me apart. In one speech delivered with full intensity by Jason Lee, we understand exactly what Buddy's motivations are and the pain he's been harboring. You can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. We know he's the villain, but his complexity keeps this animated character from ever feeling cartoonish. Number 2. Frollo Lays the Blame, The Hunchback of Notre Dame Few things are scarier than a villain who can convince people they're actually a hero. As Quasimodo's caretaker and captor, Judge Claude Frollo manipulates the titular hunchback by filling his head with lies about the state of the world outside the cathedral. The world is wicked. It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city. But Frollo's influence weakens as Quasimodo befriends Esmeralda, who has to fight off Frollo's advances. After Quasimodo helps Esmeralda escape, Frollo blames Quasimodo for the fires that he himself is responsible for. But I know all Paris is burning because of you. But it's not just the furious bellowing that makes Tony J's performance as Frollo so unsettling. You idiot! That wasn't kindness, it was cunning! She's a gypsy! Gypsies are not capable of real love! Think, boy, think of your mother! It's when he dials things back doing his best to convince Quasimodo that he has his best interests at heart. But what chance could a poor, misshapen child like you have against her heathen treachery? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Someone Worthwhile, Mulan. A great moment of literal self-reflection. Maybe I didn't go for my father. Maybe what I really wanted was to prove I could do things right. So when I looked in the mirror, I'd see someone worthwhile. We have to try. Zootopia, a speech that makes us want to change the world for the better. So no matter what type of animal you are, from the biggest elephant to our first fox, I implore you, try. Telling stories. Up. A great villain reveal. These people who uh, pass through here, they all tell pretty good stories. A surveyor making a map. A botanist cataloging plants. People of Agrabah, Aladdin. Jasmine shows what it takes to be a true leader. Will you stand silent while Jafar destroys our beloved kingdom, or will you do what is right? and stand with the people of Agrabah. Walt Disney's childhood, saving Mr. Banks. Tom Hanks embodies the heart of Disney's founder. Rare is the day when I don't think about that eight-year-old boy delivering newspapers in the snow and old Elias Disney with that strap in his fist. And I am just so tired, Mr. Travers. I'm tired of remembering it that way. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Anton Ego's Review – Ratatouille You're slow for someone in the fast lane. Anton Ego might not hold any royal titles or possess any advanced weaponry, but he still wields tremendous power. Pardon me for interrupting your premature celebration, but I thought it only fair to give you a sporting chance as you are new to this game. As a food critic, Ego lives up to his name, seldom holding back with his cutting remarks. But after being served an astounding plate of ratatouille from the unlikeliest of sources, a rat, Ego pens a write-up that isn't so much review as it is a reflection on the nature of art and criticism. But the bitter truth we critics must face is that in the grand scheme of things, the average piece of junk is probably more meaningful than our criticism designating it so. Without ever going in-depth about the dish or the chef, Ego poignantly observes why no one should be counted out when it comes to making something great. 
Legendary actor Peter O'Toole gives gravitas to every line, making us believe there's a heart beneath even the coldest of exteriors. The world is often unkind to new talent, new creations. The new needs friends. Last night I experienced something new. An extraordinary meal from a singularly unexpected source. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.